Hello everyone, George here and we're back in this room. Now that we've got everything set up, it's time for us to export out and finally get into Substance Painter. So let's go ahead and get to work. Now, actually in the last video, didn't I? I think I did a full export of everything already. So we should be able to go right into Substance Painter. File, new, uh, PBR workflow. We're gonna do 2048 textures. And let's do select our room, 01 FBX. Hit okay. Take a quick look over our materials, make sure we don't have any of those uh, Fong named materials. Everything looks good there. So we have all the different objects. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be a good workflow, um, having everything in the scene at one shot. So we're going to just going to see what happens, I guess. Uh, I guess the first thing we should do, uh, you know, what? I am missing a piece. I'm missing the floor right there. So that's got to come back. So let's come back over here and let's see that. I need that piece of floor right there. This, 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 this. And let's grab all of this. Whole thing, please. There we go. We need one of them and one of them and that. And we need that back wall. We need the ceiling. We need this and this and that. And I think that's going to be it for us. Just double checking really quick. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do a file, export selection, and find Substance Painter, FBX, room 01, yes. Come back on over here. Let's do a new one and select room 01, 2048, hit okay, discard. And now it looks like we're okay. So actually, why don't we do the floor first? Uh, so let's, um. Let's find floor, wherever that is, floor, solo. And it looks like it's just some tile. I mean, some of the squares happen to be different color and maybe we can get, we can do something like that if we want to. So let's take a look at some of our existing materials. I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of custom work on this. I'm just going to take them as they are. Uh, so tile maybe, and we got diamonds. Let's see, what else do we have? Well, obviously some of these are a little extravagant for a doctor's office. Maybe we should take a look at the online repository and see if we can just get some floor tiles in here. Uh, so let's, hopefully this works. Last few times I've been trying to launch this thing, it never worked out. Come on, there we go. So let's log in. And there we go. Ooh, look at all these cool. I think this is new way of showing this, the materials, isn't it? I don't remember them doing it this way before. Um, not ceramic. Wow, that's cool. Racing. They added a lot of new ones the last since the last time I was actually in this. So here we have like, like standard tiles, like these ones right here, which we might want to work with. We're probably going to use this glass hammered on the ceiling. Yeah, I'm not. I'm guessing ceramic is going to be what we want. And maybe the ivory tile. So we'll go with that. It looks like there's also a blue, but I can probably just edit that. So we'll just go with the ivory tile for now. Stick it on there. Um, those are too big for the room. So let's go over here. That's a new gizmo. Can I move this? Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's a nice little feature. That's new. Uh, so scale. Let's do, uh, two's a bit much, 1.5 maybe? I'm trying to see how many tiles are actually on the floor of this thing. And see, this is not, I mean, it's really not supposed to be tile. It's just supposed to be like la floor laminate stuff, but I didn't see anything in here that looked like that. Can I change the grout? So we have tile size, and we have the cement color. And if we go to the cement color and use the same color as the tile itself, Maybe just a little bit different. We'll make darken it down just a bit. Now, what is tile size? Now, all right, that's fine. Pattern mask blur. Tile roughness. Cement roughness can go down. What is a rock variation? Ooh, okay. I think I like rock variation better than grain. And we don't need floor is not messed up. Border damage. Oh, that's cool. We don't need that. We'll just keep that low. Tile height. That is something we're going to adjust. It shouldn't be very high. 
I, even that's a little high, but we'll keep, I want to keep it there so there's actually something going on with the floor. So I like that. It's not too bad. I think we are going to duplicate this layer. Stick it on there. Um, those are too big for the room. So let's go over here. So let's uh, copy or duplicate. And let's go to tile color now. And I'm going to see, I have a picture off to the side that I'm using as reference right now. Now that didn't, that doesn't look like the color I picked. That's like black. We want to do like a light blue. Somewhere in there. Something like that. And I only want to do this on certain spots, um, which means I'm going to have to look at this. Uh, what are the hotkeys for this program now? now? Now I'm going to have a hard problem, hard time remembering everything. Uh, let's see. There we go. So that's top down. That's the UV space itself. Um, we want to add to this a mask. We'll do a black mask so it's gone. And then I don't want to paint so much as make a selection in a region. Now, how do I do that? Well, I guess if we go to the paint tool and we change our brush to a solid square, do we have a, like just a square brush? Or maybe if, uh, if we do alpha and I do none, where is, do we have anything that's just a hard edge? So if we do none, then I, good. Okay, that's what I, exactly what I wanted. And then let's uh, increase the size of this. And now we can play around with the design um, here. So what are we doing? We're doing alpha, so uh, we can do, I should, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Neither is that. Let us go back here. It has been a while since I've used this program and it is showing you. Now, how many of these do I have? I know this is completely unnecessary, but I'm just trying to add something interesting to how the floor looks. We'll do brown next to it. Let's see, I mean, technically I should be doing like that. And I should, I don't know, I should be probably adjusting the, the grout color for these as well, right? Because this is, we'll get to that in a second. Let's do another layer. Right click, duplicate. And in this layer, I'm going to do another black mask. Actually, no, let's make it white so I can see what I'm doing. And we're going to go in here now. And we're going to need a brown. So, dark brown, somewhere like that, maybe. That might be a bit much. Let's uh, make it a little bit more lively. Something like that, yeah. Okay. And then we'll take the cement color. I'm going to pick the same brown and just lightly modify it. And while I'm at it, we might as well go to blue and change its color too. So it works out better. Okay, now we can come here. We can do a black mask and I can go in here and add in the brown tiles. Okay, now that it's not bad from what we have there that matches. Okay, so now at least we have some kind of a pattern on the floor, so it looks interesting. I don't know which side of the room it's actually on. Well, let's do all really quick. Oh, let's, um, so where's that pattern? Frame up, that's fine. If I have to, I can flip the UVs around in the other program. The floor might be, the floor's normals are a little bit wonky still. They're a little, it's a little extreme. Can I grab all three and do a modification? No, I can't. So I have to do that one after the next. So here, if I hit normal map on that. Oh, you know what the problem is? I'm an idiot. Guys, no one said anything. We need to go under texture set settings and we need to bake our mesh maps um, for all texture sets. So let's do that. All right, great. So now, oh boy, what's happened here? So we've got an issue um, before we move forward any further. Uh, we can see it right here on this object. The, uh, this has got something not associated right. Um, so let's go over 
here really quick and see what's going on. So this is the desk. What material does this have on it, on the cabinet? That has desk M. That has desk M, that has desk M. Okay. Now that's, this is the problem. The sink is right now sharing the same material. So we're gonna need to fix that. So we're just gonna bring, I, I don't wanna undo the work I did already. So we're going to give this a new material. Sink underscore M. Oh, we already have a sink material. So what is, so I guess at some point I had made a mistake. And we're gonna handle, we'll, we'll handle the the, uh, the sink later. Let's uh, keep working on the assets that we, that we know are functioning. So let's do the light switch. That should be an easy one. Let's go solo on that. See, this is the problem is even when you do solo, the frame up key does it for the entire room, which is why this is kind of a bad way to work. And I'm probably not gonna work this way again. So let's see here. Uh, so it's just a aluminum, it looks like, aluminum plate or stainless steel or something. Uh, let's look up steel. I usually like that, how that looks better. And let's, let's see here. There's battered and rough. Rough usually gives it a nice kind of look. So let's do that really fast. Well, that might be a little extreme for what we want. Um, there's the color, let's, ooh. Yeah, that's kind of extreme. Uh, let's try the aluminum after all. Let's go to our layers, nuke that layer, and do aluminum. Let's see how that works for us. Well, that's very shiny, a little too shiny. And let's see. So we're gonna want something on here to roughen it up a bit. And let's do, we just do metal. We've got iron. Iron might look a little bit better. The iron grinded. Yeah, I like that. That's got at least a little bit of a texture to it. Um, we might want to... want to roughen it up a little bit more. Metal color too. Maybe bring it down a little bit. Now I just need the ivory part right here. So that we can just do a new layer. So let's do add a new layer. And this material needs to be a plastic. And we'll do a plastic mat for this layer, actually. Let's nuke that one. And we're going to add a black mask. And let's make that small. Let's go over to our selection. And we should be able to select, that's part of the mesh. I'm gonna to wanna to do UV select. Okay. So let's go ahead and select all those. Looks good. Now we just need to change the color to something that's more of an ivory. So bring it over here and then somewhere probably there. Now we don't want the, uh, the grooves to come through. So actually I just put on normal and height but it doesn't look like it's overriding the information. So I'm trying to see why isn't it not Usually that should add a new map. Are these being, are they, oh, they're additive, that's why. So if we come over to our normal on here, and we're, we're just gonna do replace. And that gets rid of that. And uh, I think we should probably do the same thing for height. And let's do replace, just in case. Okay, good enough. Coming on back. It's a little dark, actually, now that I look at it. I'm gonna come here, metal color, and just brighten that up. Maybe even a little higher, yeah. That's good. Although, roughness, it is highly reflective. I don't wanna to lose too much of that quality. Okay, that's good enough. Uh-oh, now look at our door. Is it just me, or does our door have a bad material assigned to it as well? So let's, uh, that's another thing we're gonna have to fix then. So then the door is bad. So let's take a look. So there's door M, there's this. Yeah, so the door handle itself was on a separate one. So we're gonna right click, assign new material, 
Fong, call that door handle. Save that. Oh, see, so we have another door handle. It must have been when I selected something and I added material. Uh, it got overridden, probably because it's a parent-child hierarchy thing. Note to self. Uh, do we have sticky notes? Oh, we have a whole bunch of stuff in FNAF I was supposed to be doing. Decide what to do in the player. Well, you know what? That's a different project. Let's ignore that for right now. So we need... Um, Re-import the desk. Re-import the door. Uh, the door itself should be pretty easy. It's just gonna be wood. So let's jump on back to Substance Painter really fast. And actually, while I'm doing this, I really should save. Let's do a quick save. Nursing, nursing environment, Substance Painter, saves. And call this room. Uh, molding, why not? Let's solo that. Uh, the molding, it looks like it's just, uh-oh, what's going on there with that molding? The uh, ambient occlusion on that needs to go. That's not going to be good for us. Um, so let's, can I nuke that? Yeah, we're just not going to use ambient occlusion. And just uh, wood. I want a dark wood for this. This so walnut might work. So let's just put that on. I like that. I don't know if it's going to tile on the side, so we might end up with seams. That might not be great. So what happens if I turn on height map? And we're going to do triplanar. Ugh. That's ugly. Let's change the scale. That's much better. I like that. Yeah. That looks nice. Now can I kind of... Try to downgrade how many rings there are. I want that to be a little bit less apparent. I think I want to darken this too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's done. Let's go to something else now. Ugh, you can see that through the. That's going to have to be handled. I guess we can do the uh, paper towel dispenser. Now, hold on. That's got something. Because of the two sides to it, it looks like the. Uh, actually, that's a hole bunch of mess up. I'm not sure what that is. I was going to say it was ambient occlusion. But let me um, take a look at this. So there's that part and there's that part. I'm trying to think, can I... Can you paint on the ambient occlusion map? I don't think you can. That would be nice. So that's that's supposed to be paper. We'll figure this out. This is just going to be aluminum. Or let's do metal again, because I didn't like how... Let's do like an iron. Let's see. About an iron raw. I'm going to darken it a little bit, I think. And... I mean, it is supposed to be highly reflective. I do think I need another level on this, though. Something... Let's add iron brush to this, and what are we under? Let's go under base color. Actually, I just want to... The color doesn't matter so much. What I really care about from this is the normal information. So let's go ahead and get rid of a couple things. We're just going to keep normal and height. And then I'm going to take this and kind of crank that down. And then let's go to normal. I'm going to crank that down on top of it as well. That way it just it gets a little bit of it, but not a lot. Now we just need to omit this, or I need to replace it uh, with something like paper. Do we have paper? We have gridded paper. Do I have anything on the store for paper? There we go. Braided wallpaper. That's actually going to probably match really well. Canvas white. Canvas white, actually, I think is better. Let's do that. Yeah, that's going to work for us. Okay, now that we have that canvas white, let's stick that on the top. Let's go back to base color. And we are going to, of course, adjust the scaling and adjust the power of the normal map. That's just obscene. Can I adjust? Yeah, normal intensity. There we go. Way down. And height. 
range. Much better. I want it subtle. Now we're going to add a black mask and I will select, whoops, not the whole thing. Well, let's just, we, there we go, that's better. Okay, so there's our paper. And I know we've still got this ambient occlusion problem going on. And I might just take that in a, in a Photoshop and paint that, paint that out. I'm guessing it's on the ambient occlusion map. Um, what's the hotkey channel? There we go, C for channels. Base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. Interesting, I've got a, a triangulated that part. Hmm. I can't see... Oh well, whatever. We'll, we'll fix that at some point. Let's uh, see what else we got going on here. We got that sink, which has I have to wait on that. So now we've got this cabinet, top cabinet. So let's solo that. This should be an interesting one. Um, so we just need some wood and probably, I'm not seeing, nothing here is, yeah, I don't think so. That actually is, uh, probably going to work for us. It looks a little weird, that side compared to the other side. So maybe let's, that's way too, that's better. And... Let's see here, color. Now I'm gonna leave the color as it is for right now. Finish type natural. Ooh, what are these? Matte varnish is probably the best one. Varnish is a little extreme, not raw. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, a matte varnish. Give it a little bit of a shine, but not too much. Okay, I'm actually gonna use that on the desk, so I gotta remember that one. It might be a little too shiny compared to the rest of the room, actually. So let's... Yeah, I'm gonna crank the roughness up just a little bit. Just playing with the veins. I don't want anything to... It's a doctor's office, it's not meant to be crazy. Uh, what next? We've got this box right here. What was this? The biohazard box? And that's just white. There's nothing special about that. So we'll solo that. Uh, at most, we'll put like a biohazard symbol on it. And luckily, this program has a bunch of icons that we can use uh, automatically. So we just need paint. Or plastic. Eh, paint. We'll do a glossy paint on the surface of that without the um, stippling. We want the grain, I think that's it, right? Yeah, the grain intensity to be, I'll give it a tiny bit just so it has some character, but uh, not a lot. And then the white, we obviously don't want anything to ever be 100% white. We need to put some stickers on this thing. So we're gonna create a paintable layer so let's, where's that again? Add a fill layer, add just a layer. We already had one, it looks like. Uh, and then we're gonna wanna paint on, looks like uh, a yellow square and then a biohazard. So actually, what we might wanna do first is let's do another fill layer. Bring this one down here. And we're going to do a black mask on that and I guess we can do a plastic, a plastic mat for the material. On. Oh, can't I grab you and change the material mode? Yeah, here we go. To that. The base color now is going to be a yellow. Not perfect yellow. Uh, it, that looked a little green to me. Let's, yeah, that's better. And now we just need, let's see. I think we're just going to do this without an alpha, most likely. So it will come here, and we'll paint. And it does look like it's just a, uh, a sticker. So actually, let's see here. Whoops. I'm forgetting my hotkeys already. There we go. And I guess right there is just fine. 
Uh, we do want to have some height to this, so let's add a height map to that and a normal map to that. And I want to pull it out of the surface. So how do I do that again? So height, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And I should probably grab this and break it up a little bit. Um, can I add a generator or something that'll just kind of... Maybe a filter? Let's try a generator first. And... What if I do... Yeah. Okay. That's a big no-no. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of uh, the generator. I think I want a filter. Do I have anything... I just kind of want to break it up a little bit. I guess not. Well, I guess what I can do is we can look at it straight on. I can find a brush and I can just kind of paint on the sides to break it up a little bit. Let's find something that's a little choppy. Not I'm not really loving any of these. See, I know how I would do this in Photoshop. I guess I can try to do something like this a bit and just kind of let little tiny bits kind of come out. Just rotate it and try to get something that's just I just, I'm trying to break up the monotony of the, uh, the square. It's a little too perfect. So what does that actually look like? N not a huge fan. Uh, part of the issue is that the normal stuff is coming through. So let's go to height. And let's just do replace. And let's go to normal and do a replace. That way it's just a flat square. All right, so instead of screwing around, let's just do this. So where's the biohazard one? Caution, there we go. That's it, right? That's similar to it. Is there a different one? What is this, bio? Let's go bio. Yeah, it's the only one. Okay, so we'll take this, come at it straight on. Let's pick a color and do black and just stick that right there, okay? And there's technically, it looks like there's a red one as well on top, um, and, and really, let's see, I mean, we can go, we can duplicate this layer. Um, wow, it's been a while since I've used this program. Duplicate, let's uh, add a white mask. This one's orange for some reason. Where's my, let's get out of normal. Let's go to base color. Let's scroll on down here. It's definitely a darker, redder orange, something like that. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And then now let's um, add a black mask. Get rid of my alpha. Rotate this thing back to zero. Stick that on top. That is not the right color. So let's fix that. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then we just need to do our biohazard again. Okay. That's fine. Not a whole lot. Simple, but it's there. I'm gonna hit save. Let's do something else now. You know, I still think it's a little too white. But, oh well, we'll let it be. I guess we should do the chair. Examining table bottom. All right, so, uh-oh. The floor. Oh, this is why you shouldn't bring all the pieces in, because the Navian occlusion comes by and just messes everything up. So the floor doesn't need AO, so let's get rid of that, because this is not the final position for these objects. 
Well, some of them it is, but not this piece. So let's go to the floor and nuke ambient occlusion on the floor. And let's go to our examining table and figure this one out. So this is just a giant thing of an off-white plastic. That's a matted plastic. We don't want alphas, we want materials. So... Really, that. I mean, and that doesn't have a whole lot of character. What happens if we put plastic stripes on that? No. Yeah, it's not working. Plastic fiber bands. Black rubber. It definitely has a grit to it, I think, from the photos that I'm looking at. Like a very light grit. Um, well, let's get the color right. So we'll come down here. And that's probably right. The bins themselves are... You know what, I don't think I'm going to stress over it. I'm just going to leave them as is. I mean, there's like a logo and whatnot, and I guess uh, if we wanted to... We could write something on here. Let's see. Um, come over here really fast. We'll do a paint layer on this, I suppose. What do we want? Add a layer. And it looks like it's a deep brown color. So let's do that. Brown, brown, brown. There we go. Maybe... Maybe somewhere like that. Okay. And... Let us pick our substance alpha. And what do we want it to say? It looks like this is some brand called Ritter. So we'll do that. And scale this up. Put this... Right there, I suppose. I'm sure they want to brand themselves. Can I turn off back face culling so it goes to both sides? Uh, I don't think I actually want that to happen now I'm thinking about it. So where did I put this? I put it right there. So like, right there. Okay. And technically the drawers too have some kind of a thing going on, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I care. I think this is good enough. Yeah, we're just going to let it be. It's not important enough. It's just a big old box. I would like to give it a little bit more life though. So let's go into the materials and I want a material that is going to have some sort of an underlying bumpiness to it. And I'm just going to use the height. Or actually, maybe... What do, what do we have for height maps? A grunge. Hmm. Spanish plaster. What happens if I do that? Ugh, new. No. no. Limestone. Yeah, right. I just need a little something. Almost like if we were to... Let's do paint. And thick stroke. What if we do glossy paint? Yeah, see, that's got the little tiny bubble things going on. Whoa. That's extreme. So we're going to get rid of the color the metallic component. We'll keep the roughness and the height, but we're going to dial them way back. So grain intensity is going to be, yeah, way down there. And let's see, can I adjust? Yes, I can, good. I want them to be small, very small. Not, you don't really notice it kind of thing. Now, 
I don't think I think the roughness needs to go. A roughness channel. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save. It's good enough. It's really sparse, isn't that? I mean, I I gave up pretty much, but whatever. Now we need the. Let's see. Recliner seat. So this is just fabric. Or at least that's what I'm going to go with. What do we have here? We got leather. Uh, probably not leather. Fabric soft denim. What would that look like? Whoa. You know, that's not good. Fabric rough aligned. No. What about fabric rough? Now, if we go to the color on this, and it's a pink color, so I need to go down to the reds. It's a pinkish, not that pink, darker. I don't like the texture though. What about fabric denim base? No. Fabric bamboo. Leather medium grain might work. Leather big grain isn't quite right. What's leather rough going to do? I'm wondering if we just keep the uh, if I kind of throttle back some of this stuff. Yeah, we want that roughness to be very high. We're going to keep those stains down. Keep the small stains down too. Keep it a pretty solid single color. And then we're going to make it more pink. I guess it's less pink and more of like a... Something like that. Now it's a little uncomfortable looking, so I'm going to... I think I really need to tone down these dots intensity. Whatever that normal is. Is there a parameter for that? There is no normal. Huh. There is a height. So if I turn normal on, we just kind of tone down. See, I think it's baked into the texture. I'm still getting that, that crinkle that I don't like. So I, I, I think this is a, a bad, what's silicon coat? Silicone coat, whatever. Oh, you know what? I've still got, let's, so that was the fabric rough that was causing the problem, not that. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, I'm gonna reduce the stain stuff a little bit. And, and we're gonna go with that. Though it is a bit, let's, yeah, that's better. That kind of fits in with the rest of the room a little nicer. Although this thing, it just looks too white. Um, examining table bottom. Yeah, it's gonna fit in a little bit better, like that. All right, I'm not sure about this whiteboard. It's just a whiteboard. So we might as well just fix it right now, I guess. Um, did I unwrap the whiteboard? Yes, I did. It was two pieces. That's right. Whiteboard. Let's solo that. Uh, I guess the first thing is just a plastic, and it's going to be a, a very glossy plastic. Um, that's going to be near white. 
And we're going to increase roughness just a little bit. And that should be it for that. Now I just need the, oh, like an aluminum. Now what about aluminum scratched? So if we go here, we fix some of this. Let me lower the scratch amount and the scratch scale. Increase roughness a little bit. I'm, I'm not liking it. I don't know why it's, it's quite so blue. Maybe my environment. I, I don't know what my environment is set up as right now. Where's the, uh, where's the environments? There we go. Where do I set that up? Environment. Ugh. Can we do something that's like inside soft five day? See, why is it so blue? I mean, I know I'm in blue. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. So that little tiny bit of blue really made the difference. Okay, so now we can go to layers. I'm going to right click on the aluminum one. Let's add a black mask. Ah, you know what? Let's add a white mask. And I only need to get rid of one part. And we can do that with a selection. So let's go over here. We'll do faces and I'll do black. And I'll grab those two. Now, that is making the white look not white enough. So we're going to we're going to pop that up a bit. Okay. The aluminum is a little a little much. And the scratches are kind of annoying. I'm not seeing any changes. It's, it's very very little. I'm not happy with that. I think that looks like trash. Let's change um, let's change our material. What if we did iron shiny? I like iron shiny better. I think we'll just take it as is. Run with it. Okay. What are we doing now? We still have the ceiling. And a few of these other ones are going to have to be re-exported on their own. The door. Well, we have the wall. So we have the wall and the ceiling. What? What is it? Oh, this, this video has gone on 54 minutes. If these go on for too long, it becomes a pain for my computer to process them. So we're going to take a break here. And uh, when we come back, we'll uh, finish up those last few few items, okay? See you all then. So long and bye.